Welcome to Training for 315 Bench episode number 14 and today I will give you the latest update on my journey. So first of all I will start to record my screen and we will talk about it. So the last episode was posted at the beginning of February and now we have the end of February and boy was this month rough. So basically setbacks all over the place and yeah that's why I haven't posted videos in quite a while and basically I was sick for a couple of days and I couldn't bring myself to film anything. So if we talk about the six week Russian bench press program, I managed to complete week number one without any problems and then week number two I did complete the Monday and Wednesday workout and on the Friday workout I have failed. So I was supposed to do here a six by five at 92 and a half kg. And let me check my notebook here. And on the first set, I did five repetitions. After that, I did only three repetitions and I did feel that the bar was off. So I re-racked the weight and then once again, restarted the set and got only one repetition. So I'm counting here as four reps. On the third set I got five and on the last three sets, so set number four, five and six, I only gotten four repetitions. So that's why I have marked here red. And yeah, that's very surprising. In my third attempt on the six week Russian bench press program, I did complete week number one, two, three and week number four, the Monday and the Wednesday workouts. And I only did fail on the Friday workout here on the 4x4 with 102.5 kgs. But here on my fourth try, I already failed in the second week on the Friday workout. Yeah, and after that, in week number three, I got sick and I couldn't do the Monday workout, I couldn't do the Wednesday workout. And today is Thursday and I'm feeling a little bit better, so hopefully. Tomorrow on Friday I can do a light workout and resume training with weights once again. So yeah, setbacks all over the place for February. And basically why this happened here, I think it's mainly two reasons. First of all, I have started to consume less calories while still eating intuitively until that point. And at the very top, I think I was waiting like 98 and a half kgs. And then I dropped down to like 96 and a half kgs. So two kgs lost over a span of a couple of weeks. And I was in a calorie deficit. And then I have switched to pause benching. So in the past I used to do touch and go. So basically no pausing at all. And now when I'm lowering the bar, I'm lowering it in a slower pace than usual than at the bottom pausing for one second and then only pushing up. So I think the combination of being in a calorie deficit for a couple of weeks and switching to the pause bench is why I failed here. So if I'm doing the pause bench, then here the max of 115 should be adjusted. It should be lower. 115 is my estimation of a touch and go bench and paused, I think it would be like 110 kgs, something like that. If we plug it in, I would do here with 87 and a half kgs, maybe 112 and a half with 90 kgs, then it would be more manageable. Here, if I plug in 110, then a four by four would be with 100 kgs. So yeah, I think compared to the touch and go, the pause should be like, 5 kg is less, that's 10 pounds, so that's reasonable. But anyways, I have failed here, week number two, and this week I got sick. So the whole program is screwed now for a fourth time. And I thought for a while, how should I continue now? Should I just restart the program once again? Should I bulk? Should I cut? What should I do? So first of all, I did post a video on my intuitive eating results. I will link a card above to it. And there I did find out that I have gained on average in a given month 3.75 pounds of body weight. And that's too much. I'm not a beginner, I'm not a novice anymore. 
and at max I should gain like one to one and a half pounds per month of body weight. So I was thinking for a while, debating, I was thinking for a couple of weeks and I did think should I cut, should I bulk, what should I do? I really want to bench more but I don't want to get fat but I don't want to then cut down and lose all the strength. So I was jumping around and finally after failing in this workout and getting sick I have decided I will go on a cut. So I will try to reduce my body fat percentage and here I will show you a video which I did film yesterday. So this is my current shape without any pump, without any down lighting, nothing at all, no filters. So that's how I'm looking like right now. If I had to estimate here my body fat percentage, I would say it's around 25%. So it's too much. And if I would continue bulking from this point onwards and trying to increase my bench once again, I would gain even more weight. I would gain to maybe 105 kgs, 110 kgs, and then only press the free plate side. And then I will be 30%, maybe more body fat. And that just doesn't make any sense at all. It's not good for my health whatsoever. And it's just not worth doing it for me personally. Why should I get fat or weight just to prove a point that I can bench free plates? And I was basically just focused having tunnel vision of benching free plates aside this year. So I wanted to do it as fast as possible. But if I am taking a step back, looking at the big picture, I should give myself more time. And my goal would be to increase my bench, but don't get my body fat levels get out of control. So in the video I did show you, I was waiting 96 kgs. So let's calculate 96 divided by 0.45. It's about 213 pounds. So I have decided to go on a cut and the starting weight will be 96 kgs. And I think I want to lose at the very maximum that I will be 180 pounds. So my starting point is 213 pounds minus 180. That will be losing about 33 pounds at the very max. And end weight 180 would be converted to kgs 81 kilograms. So 96 minus 81, I would need to lose 15 kilograms. So that's at the very, very maximum, 15 kgs. And I think I will update this in three parts. So I did show you here my physique, how it looks like at 96 kgs. Then I will make an update video when I will lose five kgs more. So I will be waiting 91 kgs. So this will be the first update. The second update will be when I will lose another five kgs. I will be waiting around about 86 kgs. So these two steps I will make for sure. So the weight at the very minimum will be 86 kgs. And then when I will be at this particular point, I will decide whether I should go for another five kgs and that will be update number three on 81 kgs. And I don't want to go below that. So that's regarding my body composition goals for the nearest time. Now we have almost the end of February. So a couple of days left and we will go to March. In my country, the gyms will unfortunately not open in March. So I will still train at home. And until summer, we have March. April, May, three months, and then we can calculate June. So I think I will be in the cutting phase at the very max, like four months, four months times four weeks. So that will be max 16 weeks. And I have to lose 33 pounds divided by 16. That's about two pounds 
in a given week. So yeah, just looking at the calculations, it will be difficult to lose two pounds per week. Maybe at the beginning I will manage to do it, but then it will stall. So 16 weeks will be quite difficult. So yeah, I have gotten way too fat here on this intuitive eating and dirty bulking approach. So that's why I must cut now and it doesn't make any sense to bulk any longer, to put on even more fat. It's not good for my health, period. And I'm looking at the long-term perspective. So we will see how it goes and I think I will need to cut for like four months if I want to reach about 81 kgs. And also one other decision factor that has helped me to go on the cut right now was finishing the Peck Deer series. I have yet still to make the final video, but I was sick for quite a while, didn't have the energy to do it, but basically put it short, I did find out that Peck Deer's already happen at 120 kgs. So yeah, I'm not that far away from this weight and basically I don't want to rush because if I will be rushing, I will just be pushing myself every week with no rest at all. Then I'm more susceptible to having the risk of injury and I did also find out about these risk factors and all in all it was decent but I did fix here the touch and go factor and I have switched to pause benching now. So I'm doing a short brief pause then lowering the bar and then only pushing up. And by doing it my weights with which I'm working will be less. So that's why I failed here the Friday workout. Anyways moving forward the OHP program I have completed two weeks and here in week number one the 10 singles with 61 kgs were pretty difficult to complete and I will mainly contribute it to being in a calorie deficit for a couple of weeks. And the pull-up program I didn't do at all. I was doing these 20 sets by three to get rid of my golfer's elbow and it's still not 100% healed it gets better every time but I didn't think that it will take such a long time to so enough ranting I will tell you now what is my plan going forwards so the plan is to cut down and lose at least 10 kgs at the very max 15 kgs and my goal is to maintain as much as possible of my bench press strength and hold on to muscle size. I don't expect to get stronger or bigger on the cut. My only goal is to maintain as much strength and muscle as possible. And basically now I want to share with you how I will continue training. So this was the old training structure. And when you are switching from a bulk, a cut it shouldn't change that much but i don't expect to make any progress my goal is to only maintain my strength so if we are talking about the bench i want to at least bench two times per week so i will bench on monday and friday and i will do a five by five on both days so that's the idea and the reps will be not low but also not too high and I can use here some decent weight and always try to push myself to maintain here this 5x5. Five five. In the last week I did fail here with 92 and a half, a 6x5 so I think my 5x5 five five at max before the sickness was like 90 kgs now maybe it's a little bit less but maybe I will rebuild here and I will try to maintain a 5x5 five five at like 90 kgs, maybe 87 and a half and at the lowest like 85. 
So that would be the idea. So I will not bench on Wednesdays and OHP I was doing two times per week. Now I will switch it to only one time a week. So I will do it on Wednesday, also a five by five. Then regarding the chin-ups, I will do them two times per week on Monday and Friday. And on Wednesday, I will only do the dumbbell rows. Also on Wednesday, I will leave you the reverse fly, the curls for the biceps and the hammer curls. So this will be the Wednesday and on Monday after doing the bench and the chin-ups, I'll do legs. Same as Friday, so bodyweight squats and split squats. So the chin-ups, I will see what kind of approach I will do. Maybe I will stick to this 20 reps by three for now and see how the golfer's elbow develops. And all other exercises, I will do like three sets, like so three sets of dumbbell rows, three sets of flies, and here for the biceps, two sets of curls, two sets of hammer curls. But I will see how it goes. And compared here to my bulking program, I will do here a little bit less because I estimate that as time goes on and on my energy levels will be decreased so i want to hit a workout not a long one but a shorter one but keep the intensity so try to maintain my bench strength my ohp strength and also do the chin-ups that's my main priority so this is a rough blueprint of how i am planning to train moving forwards from now and if we are talking about nutrition, I will be in a calorie deficit and I will eat every day. So I will not do the fasting approach that I have done in the past. I have debated here also for quite a while, but I have decided to eat on a daily basis. So this was the update. So from now moving on, the next couple of months, three to four months, I think will be devoted to losing the excess body fat, getting ready for the summer and trying to maintain my strength on the bench and then we'll see how it goes as time moves on so hopefully tomorrow i can get in a light workout and move on from there and i did mention that i will update every time when i will lose five kgs and also i will share with you the bench press strength whether i did manage to maintain it or did i lose some of it so by this date at the weight of 96 kgs i estimate my 5x5 to be at 90 kilograms so we will see how my 5x5 will change when i will get down to 91 kgs so this was the update for this video i hope you have enjoyed watching it and see you soon next time bye